everybody. Uh, how are we doing? Are we all doing okay? I'm not. I'm Joan Waters. I know I look a lot like Nina West, but it's who I am. Uh, I was challenged to do pig drag today, and I figured, you know, why not also rank a bunch of famous pigs? I don't know why. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, these rankings are completely my opinion. That's my opinion! So please don't get mad at me because they're based on no facts or knowledge of any kind. Okay, so let's get started. Number 25, Maxwell the Geico Pig. I just don't like how much fun she's having. Wee, wee, wee! She's riding in cars. She's flying on planes. Sounds a little too good to be true, sir. I believe that when pigs fly. Mm. Mm. Too much fun. Uh, we're not going wee 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 for this little piggy. Number 24 is Peppa Pig. <laughs> I don't like this Caillou little bitch of a pig. Peppa has red spots on her face. Puppy, I don't feel very well. I don't like the way she carries herself. I don't like anything about her except the shape of her delicious looking schlong of a nose. Oh dear, Peppa, you don't look very well. Uh, why are her eyes on the same side of her head? <laughs> we should call someone. <gasps> Dr. Brown Bear has come to make Peppa better. Hello, Peppa. How are you today? I'm not very well. Stick your tongue out, please. Hmm. It's not anything serious. Peppa has just got coronavirus. I don't know why her doctor is a bear, but I will say that I miss bears, and I look forward to seeing them once I'm allowed out of my apartment. Uh, number 23 is the pigs from the Angry Birds games. Um... I'm pretty angry too right now, uh, so I respect their anger and I respect their beautiful green skin. Number 22 is Napoleon. Read it to me. Hmm. All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Yes, that's right. The pigs from George Orwell's book about Mitch McConnell and the entirety of Congress. Number 21 is Babe. Not only does Babe like to boss around a bunch of sheep on the farm and get adopted by dogs. <laughs> okay, to each their own. I love my mom. <laughs> Babe is a pig of sophistication, of class. Babe is a pig of the city and sometimes in the city. Oh, ladies. <laughs> also, the second Babe movie is directed by the same guy who made Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> Number 20 is Big Bill. Big Bill uh, was the heaviest pig in the entire world. Um, and just like me, Big Bill is from Tennessee. My name's Terry. I'm an exchange student from Tennessee. Also like me, Big Bill weighed 2,552 pounds. And I'm planning on doubling that before this quarantine's over. Bill was invited to appear at the Chicago World's Fair. But because life isn't fair, <laughs> he broke his leg. Now I'm going to fall and break my leg, leaving me helpless. And was put down. R.I.P. Big Bill. 19 is Ham from Toy Story. He plays video games. He keeps money in his stomach. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Does anyone know where we might find the Al of Al's Toy Bar? I can help. <laughs> I'm tour guide Barbie. He flirts with Barbies. He's essentially Trixie Mattel during this quarantine. But number 18 is Bebop from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Bebop. Ooh, Stonewall Prison. I remember that joint. I did time there once. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, he looks like he smells. Oh, pay for this? Yeah, and bring cash. We don't take plastic. He's probably a top. Oh, you cretins! Now look what you've done. Well, we didn't know he was gonna do that. Uh, we don't even know what cretins mean. And 
and those shoes. <laughs> we got a score to settle with you, little toy. Number 17 is Penelope. My name is Penelope. And I was cursed to be born with the nose of a pig. But to break the curse, I just had to find someone to accept me as I am till death do us part. I just like Christina Ricci. Prozac Nation. Number 16 is Piglet. Are you all right? That's right. The one and only Piglet. <laughs> Nature is calling. Uh, Pooh, uh, Tigger, I don't know. My house might miss me. Piglet is a ride or die. Okay? Piglet is not going to piglet you walk all over them and their friends. No, I'm not coming up. It, it, it's too dangerous for such very small animals. And also, they're so cute and they're so... Can't relate. <laughs> Number 15 is Madam Oink. Now listen, I have a lot of respect for people who have gotten fired. <laughs> What? I don't really want to do the work today. <laughs> Madam Oink uh, is a former animatron from the house of Chester Entertainment Cheese, aka Chuck E. Cheese. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, she's known as the Pig of Paris, the Lady of Oink. Um, you might know her as your sleep paralysis demon. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> She's really glamorous. Number 14 is Gordy. Gordy, take care of the family. I promise. Now, meet America's newest hero. If a pig can make it, anyone can. Sickening. Gordy doesn't just hurt sheep, okay? Gordy saves lives. doesn't just imaginarily talk in his head. Gordy can talk to children. But only children. I could have sworn I heard you say something. Can hear him. That's right, you did. Number 13 is Pumbaa from The Lion King. Not the remake. Sorry, Seth Rogen. <laughs> Do you believe? Will Jesus be upset with you for this? Yes, Jesus won't He's care for this. We stand that lion's gay dad. Um, he's relatable, he likes eating, um, he obviously is the reacher, not the settler, because, like, Timon is keeping it tight. And he farts. Number 12 is Peter Porker. <sighs> yum, 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 yum. He is like a spider, but has all the powers of a pig. <laughs> And he's voiced by John Mulaney from inside a closet. Number 11 is Razorback. Razorback is a large man-eating pig in the Australian Outback. There, there, Scotty. No, 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 boy. It's all right. How many people were scared? Me too. I was really, really scared. Razorback is basically a Jaws ripoff, jaw droppingly. Uh, I won't say that they jumped the shark, but I will say that no one is asking a dingo if they ate the baby anymore. <laughs> I put her high because I got a lot of respect for the Aussies. Number 10, Fluffy the Pig from South Park. On the next South Park, what disastrous consequences await when the boys decide to play God? I'm going to combine my elephant with a pot-bellied pig and make pot-bellied elephants. She had sex with an elephant. What, what have you done for endangered species recently? 
Number nine and eight are both named Wilbur. One from Charlotte's Web and one from Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Life is hard for both of these Wilbers and we have to respect their tenacity, their bravery, um, their ability to live amongst people who can't read. It's a beautiful medal, Wilbur, and you deserve it. I haven't got your gift for words, Charlotte, but you've saved me, and I would gladly give my life for you. The absolute strength both of them show when a person looks at them and goes, Is that a chicken? Is that a chicken? And an ally to spiders. Number seven is Captain Good Vibes. Good Vibes are what we need right now. Now, I did not know a damn thing about Captain Good Vibes before today, but thanks again to Wikipedia, I have learned all about uh, Aussie legend Captain Good Vibes, who is a bong smoking, womanizing, Surfing pig made of steel. <laughs> Number six is the little piggy who stayed home. You wanna go home? She gonna go home. We do not stand the pig who went to the market. We don't stand the pig who had roast beef, especially when we feel like the pig who had none. Right now, the little piggy who stayed home is all of us, and we salute her. These next three little piggies are ranked in order. Uh, first up, we got that little pig who made their house out of bricks. Okay, first of all, pig, you thought you was somebody coming into this all prepared, okay? Like, I got all these bricks. You probably got a 401k and three months rent saved up too, don't you? The brick house pig is too prepared like some sort of Tracy Flick looking motherfucker. I don't know what you're referring to. You're too prepared. You got the study guide. You have the answers to the study guide. You looked at the study guide. You're friends with the teacher on Facebook. And y'all message about what you think about the new Grey's Anatomy. Hey, no cute names. They're not pets. They're subjects. It's not our job to get all affectionate. It's our job to keep them alive. So I don't want to hear Wilbur, babe. You want to call them something. Call them sausage. No one likes you, Brickhouse Pig. We respect you, but we don't like you. And it just has to be said. I can't prove it, but I'm pretty sure that the brick house pig is hoarding toilet paper right now. Hand sanitizer won't save you, bitch. Not from a wolf. Number four is the little pig who made their house out of sticks. Girl, I feel you. Yeah, I've, I've been a bunch of sticks too, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Whole bundle of them. The stick house pig They've probably got at least one condom in their nightstand drawer that they're never gonna use because of this quarantine. They have an active Disney Plus account that they've never ever used, not even for The Mandalorian. Uh, and they recently fought an old woman for the last Nintendo Switch at their local Target. Number three is <sighs> that one little pig who made her house out of straw. Doing her best. She's just doing her best. I was rooting for you! We were all rooting for you! How dare you! This straw house pig is just like Jessica on Love is Blind. She agreed to this, but she was not prepared. Uh, Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. What? If this place had, like, no wolves and no other pigs, I'd, like, propose to you tomorrow. Really, you would? In fact, when the wolf showed up at her house to blow it down, she had just finished drinking her second bottle of wine, and she was opening up a third one to feed her dog. And you know what? We don't like her, but we relate to her. The truth. The truth hurts about pigs. You know, look in the mirror sometimes. Number two is Miss Peggy. You do not have to strain yourself to keep fit. I maintain my dynamite figure with a daily aerobic workout. Now you go to your refrigerator and get your exercise equipment and get ready to exercise. Yes, she wore it better than Jenna Maroney. 
she's a boss bitch. Hold my hand, pick up my dreams. Will you be a twerp? She's an actress, okay? No other pig is doing it like her. She doesn't just have the chops, she's got the pork chops. Where are you going, Fatso? <laughs> Fatso, this hey! She is not just bringing home money, she is bringing home the bacon. <laughs> well, one man's poison is another man's bacon. <laughs> She owns everything. She are New York. Ooh, club legend art swine. <laughs> all right, number one, you've all been waiting for it. It's number one pig on my list. Unnamed pig. Hey, poor job. You wanna know something about unnamed, <laughs> unnamed pig? I can't even take her name seriously because it's not a name. You may not know her, but she is unnamed pig. And unlike everyone else on this list, she started a cold war in real life. Baby, are you ready for this cold war? How'd she do it? By eating potatoes. When's the last time any of y'all started a war over some potatoes you ate? 34 year old Kelly eats nothing but cheesy potatoes. Unnamed pig, she crossed an international boundary into some guy's farm and decided, fuck this dude, I'm gonna eat his potatoes. She ate his potatoes and she got shot like a fucking gangster, okay? Has Miss Piggy ever been shot? No. That's what I thought, never. The guy that shot her said, okay, I'll give you $10 because I shot your pig. Uh, and the guy who owned the pig said, actually, you should give me $100. If you adjust that for inflation, this guy was like, I'll give you $280. And this guy was like, actually, I want $2,800. I'm worth a lot more than $2,800. Okay, well, uh, that's enough from this hog body. Uh, if there are some pigs I didn't mention, or if you're just mad because you're locked inside, uh, leave a comment below. Quarantined. Ooh.